I want to just run through a little bit of text stuff with you uh, real quickly. So what I'm going to do is start here in the timeline and I'm going to change this video one to text by selecting track media text. And I'm going to get a text window that pops up here nice for me. And I'm going to just type in forest text. And I'm going to run through some options here with you real quick. This is the text window. You can change the style of the text here. For example, you can make it bold, you can make it italic, and so on and so forth. Uh, you can also change the justification. You can skew the style a little bit. Play around with these options, and uh, you'll, you'll understand pretty well what's going on here. Here's the font. Here's the pitch. Uh, this will increase or decrease the range of all the text. So in case you have a couple of different sizes, this will increase it all by 10. Uh, and then uh, you've got some other tabs here. You've got text wrap. You've got your fill, what color you want it to be, your style. Uh, also, you've got the borders here and the shadow type. So all these tabs are very handy. And there's one button in particular down here that I don't think you can see. I'll just move it here. This style palette. If you click this, it'll bring up the style palette. And you'll be able to see the styles that are already saved. If you worked pretty hard building something that looks really nice, you've got a nice color effect that you think you'll use again, you can always save it here in the style palette. But make sure you come in here and check these out. You've got not only uh, text and fonts, but you've also got colors and gradients and naturals and splines and all kinds of different stuff in your style palette. So know it's there, know how to find it, and all you have to do to apply it is just double click it and close it, and then you've got your style applied here. You can hit update over here in the corner. If you like, before you go out of here, you don't have to though, it'll update automatically, as you can see there. And you've got your text here. This is not extruded text, although it looks like it. it's just a regular 3D plane, just a flat text. And you can do everything that you can do with uh, just about anything else. You can scale it. And because it's awesome vector text, you'll notice that uh, no matter how big you bring it, it'll always look really, really crisp because it's a vector text. A lot of other programs won't offer that. So um, those Boris Graffiti users, you're lucky to have such a nice program. Those red users who don't take advantage of the text, you're missing out because uh, it's something else, something special. Especially when you get the extruded text, there's just nothing that beats that. But that's basically the text window. If you want to um, alter your text, you can just double click down here in the timeline and your text window pops up. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in here. You can adjust your text to exactly the way you want to. So make sure you take a couple of minutes and uh, go ahead and check all these options out. Also, you can import text files if you'd like. If you'd rather not type in a big long section or if you want to type one in your word processor and then uh, make sure all the spelling is correct and then import that file, you can do that with this button here. Import your file and it's going to look for RTF or text files. So know that's there. There's one more thing I wanted to show you for text. Let me go ahead and make this um, 100%. And you know what? I'm going I'm to increase the scale a little bit. I'm going to go up 92, say, 102. That's good. It's going to go ahead and auto-apply. There it is. And we've got our Boris text. And I'm going to make this just a color so it's a little easier to see. So now you can see we've got Boris text on a green background here. And what I'm going to do is show you how to... Um, type on the text. You've got a text track here and if you open this up you'll see the face here and if you click that you get some new controls in your controls window and they all have to do with the text. So uh, this tab right here is the one I particularly want to talk to you about type on. And if you go here and you're at your first keyframe you set your first keyframe here on the face track you go up here and your text type on is set to zero automatically all your text in that composite window goes away. Don't worry, you can get it back and uh, very methodically. Down in the timeline now, at our very short effect, it's one second. Let's go halfway in at 15 frames. Set another keyframe, control N, and make sure it's on the face track here. And it is. There's our new red keyframe. The composite window has updated to show us that the word Boris is now on the screen, but by this time in the effect we want it all to be on the screen. So we come back over here to the controls window and at this point 
text type on, we want to say 100. 100% 100 of the text we want on the screen. And the composite window reflects that that's what's happening. Let me hit home in the timeline and go ahead and push the space bar to give us a quick run through. And that's what it's going to look like. It's going to type on just like that. That's pretty easy. It's a pretty easy way to get it to type on. But I bet you've guessed it's just not enough for me. I want something just a little more interesting, so I'm going to go to the controls window and I'm going to select in shift, excuse me, scale Y, I'm going to select 2500 and hit enter. I'm going to pull this shift Y down just a touch, maybe around about, let's say, negative 600. And now let's take a look at what it's going to do. We've got an overshoot text effect that not only types on, but it overshoots as it types on. And there you have it. Typing on, an overshoot, nice vector text. And of course, we could slow this effect down. We've only got it set for a one second duration, and all the animation is happening in the first half of a second. So, of course, you could easily slow this down. But that gives you an idea of what you can do with the text window in the text type on tab.